creepy? Why is it creepy? You sounded like salad fingers. I like crusty things. <laughs> oh god! No, just leave, <laughs> just leave. Hi, so welcome back to my vlog channel. You guys are currently balanced on top of a bin, a toaster, and a little table that we got from Ikea, or that I've just noticed is bashed up at the corner. But you know what, that's okay because it only costs six pounds. So I thought I'd do a little home haul over here just because as you probably might imagine, I've been buying quite a lot of, well, we've been buying quite a lot of home stuff um, over the past couple of weeks because we both literally started with nothing, like we both moved from our parents' house and the only thing that we had um, when we moved in, the first things that arrived were the bed, the mattress and then this sofa bed, which I wouldn't really recommend because one, it's not super comfortable. It was really, really cheap. I got it off of a website called Furniture123. But when we put together, when we put it together, um, it's actually like wonky, <laughs> as in, these two pieces at the back here aren't lined up properly, so the sofa's not even aligned. There's like one main piece, and then this separate piece uh, doesn't line up with the rest of it. So that's great. Um, I think it was like £399, which for a sofa is pretty good, because a lot of them are like, you know, £1,000 plus. And we thought that we would get a better sofa later down the line, but for now we don't really need it, so that's why we just went for this, like slightly cheaper alternative obviously 399 pounds is still a lot of money but for a sofa um you know it's one of the cheaper ones <laughs> buying stuff for a home is expensive um luckily i don't have very expensive taste when it comes to like home stuff a lot of the bits that i'm about to show you are really affordable things that i'm about to show i've got from ikea asda and h&m home which I've never really looked into before, but H&M Home do some really nice stuff. But before I do that, I actually just want to insert some footage which was taken back in, I think it was January or February. We are now in May. When me and James thought that we might be moving, like we thought it was gonna go through a lot sooner, we thought, oh quick, we better go to Ikea and buy some home bits. Um, so we took a trip one weekend to Ikea and we got some home stuff. Um, a lot of that is not actually in this hall because it's now like just placed around the house, but we got really basic stuff like, you know, things like toilet brushes and potato peelers and like random utensils for the kitchen. And we mostly just wanted to go to have a look at the stuff in store so that we could see what we liked. And then in the future we would order it online. So I'm just gonna insert that footage here, obviously. Uh, things have changed a lot since then and Ikea isn't even open anymore. So this was taken back in February. That sun's not so great. That's not gonna work. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh God, I feel really, really uncomfortable. There's people look at us. Yeah. Oh so well. Um, so, we mm. have, where are we James? Where have we come to? Ikea. We, is that the wind? That's the wind. Basically, we've come to Sweden. Ikea. We're doing a bit of home shopping today, getting stuff, mostly just like little bits for the kitchen. We're gonna have a browse around Ikea, see if there's any furniture that we like and take notes. We're not gonna buy it now just because we don't have a moving in date yet. But um, yeah, we thought we'd come and just have a day on the weekend, browsing some home stuff, getting some bits for the kitchen and like small bits like utensils and plates and cups and shit and like that. And the most important thing, the meatballs. We're getting the, the meatballs. meatballs. Let's go. If any of you haven't been to Ikea and had the meatballs, you're missing out. You need to try these, they're amazing. Ooh, this is cool. This is nice as well. Look, you can get different inserts that go in it. I like that. Is this a shoe bit? Oh no wait, that's just to put stuff. That would be really good. And look, there's hanging space up there as well. Mm. That would be actually really good. What's that called? Tizzadol. I quite like the mirrored one though. The mirrored one's cooler. Yeah, those drawers over it. Oh, I wish I could just take like a whole bedroom from Ikea and just put it in my house. So I do like this one. 15. That's not too bad. Ask bowl. Yeah, these are good. I like the mix of the white and the wood. But then, like, even this, like, I'm pretty sure I have this in my bedroom with makeup in it. Probably. You, probably have, you, have, something, you have something very similar. Oh my god, I want this. Yeah, I like this thing. Or, oh, that's quite cool. This setup is nice. I wish we had a walk in wardrobe like this. <laughs> 
I wish. Oh my god. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, this is goals. One day. One day. I need this in my life. <gasps> oh my god. Please. I need it. I may be nearly 23, but I need this in my life. It's magnetic. Oh my god, my camera screen is literally about to fall off. This is the cue. Help us. We got one of the most exciting things that you need when moving house. A toilet brush. A bin. James got a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> V-shaped pillow, not pregnancy. <laughs> to be honest, we don't have too much, but um, the queue is like big. We came into IKEA in the light. We've come out and it's nearly dark. Well, that hanging thing's a bit annoying, isn't it? What, this? We were kind of hoping up. to go to a few different shops today, but I think we're just gonna head home now. Mm. So we need to get some dinner. Although we did have meatballs, which were great. Um, but yeah, we got some essential stuff. We didn't get everything that we needed, because like, it was, you all right? Yeah, I'm just trying to get something out of my pocket. Yeah, we didn't get everything that we needed because we got a little flag. Because we need to like take some measurements and stuff like that. And obviously we didn't want to get the big stuff because it wouldn't fit in my car. But we have an idea. We got some ideas of what we want to put in the house. So I would say it was pretty successful. It was very successful. It was. We were going to go to HomeSense um, and TK Maxx and Sophology, but we didn't get a chance and it's now quite late. So I think we're just going to head back, but we will do that another day. Let's go. Oh. So back to now rather than the past. So we had an Ikea delivery that arrived today. That's what those boxes are that you can see behind me. Um, we went for the mom chest of drawers in oak or like, I'm guessing it's like fake oak, which were 99 pounds. And it's just like a big chest of drawers that you can put obviously like clothes in. So that's what we're gonna use it for, for like t-shirts and joggers and stuff like that. We do have an Ikea drawer set already, which has got our underwear in it, which I've put upstairs in the bedroom, which actually used to be one of my makeup drawers. But for now we're using it for like underwear and socks and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna spend this weekend building these drawers. Um, we only got one set for now because I thought I'd get one and then see how we go and if we need more. But just a warning, if you're wanting to order anything off of Ikea, um, first of all, if you're ordering big items, the delivery is 30 pounds, which I thought was fine because you know, we can't go there. So it was either that or spend twice the price on another website for some other furniture. Because obviously Ikea stuff is super affordable. If you're getting smaller bits, I think the delivery is 9.95, like um, obviously not like big bits of furniture, but you might want to check before you order stuff when it can actually be delivered. Because we added a ton of stuff to our basket and then it said that half of it wasn't available for delivery until like the end of June or something. And then there was some stuff as well that wasn't available for delivery at all. And so what we ended up doing is splitting the order. We deleted a load of stuff off the list where we were like, actually, you know what, we don't really need that extra stuff we can like get it on amazon or something but yeah i think this order took like two and a half weeks to get here you have to like book your delivery day but the only one that was available was for today the 23rd of may so just a warning put your order in sooner rather than later i don't know if this is going to be the most boring video in the world but if anyone likes to see basic home stuff i hope you enjoy it we got two of these bath mats which um we didn't have like shower mat things just exactly the same they're just like gray and bobbly they're not the best quality to be honest, but I think they were like five pound each. So you obviously just put these on the floor and then when you get out the shower, it doesn't make it all wet. But I mean, they look pretty nice when you actually put them in the bathroom. This is probably the most embarrassing purchase of uh, the, the haul. I had to get myself a stool. I think this was also about five pounds. This was also from Ikea. Um, I had to get a stool because I can't reach half the cupboards in the kitchen. Five foot two life. I think this might have been described as like child's stool or something but it's needed because when James isn't here, I can't reach things on the top shelf. So I think it was like five pounds, four or five pounds. There is also some stuff in the kitchen, which I'll show you in a minute. The biggest bargain of this haul is what you are currently balanced on. This table was six pounds. I think it was six pounds, maybe it was seven pounds, but they do it in loads of different colors. We just went for the basic white one just for now. So I did actually go to Asda um, to get the like essential food shop. And while I was there, I thought I'd take a look down like the home aisle because we didn't have a toaster. We now have a toaster. I think this was on special offer. It was reduced from like 30 quid to 22 pounds or something, but it looked like a decent one because you can lift it up and like check your bread, which is actually pretty handy to have. And then I just got a bin because I thought it'd be handy. This was like one pound 75. And that's currently what you're balanced on. Oh, and then also in Asda, I got a really basic set of tea towels, which are just five 
tea towels i've taken one out and it's in the kitchen but i think these were four pounds or five pounds which i thought was again super cheap and then from h&m home i actually had a voucher for my birthday from my parents for 25 pounds so i thought i'd do an order off of there h&m home i've actually got some really nice stuff some of it is more expensive than you would think but some of it is also really affordable which is kind of strange it's like two different spectrums we got our plates from there which are in the kitchen i'll show you in a sec um, and i also got some towel sets from there which again i think were pretty affordable oh this one's got a thread so these are just some basic towels they came in sets so you would get a big towel and then also you would get like a smaller um face towels so i got two sets of those the other smaller towel is actually upstairs and i think these were 14.99 which isn't the cheapest for towels but it's still pretty affordable like there are some crazy expensive towels out there which i know like i mean i know you get what you pay for but these actually they feel totally fine they feel soft and they do the job so and then also as well i got this really big towel because i thought james might like it because you know he's a tall bean <laughs> and it's just like an extra kind of big towel i think it was called a bath sheet um and i think this one by itself was like 9.99 maybe and then yeah like i said our plates were from h&m so i'll just take you into the kitchen and show you the other bits that we got we're using the slow cooker today um james's uncle actually gave this to us and it is so helpful we cooked a spaghetti bolognese in here the other day and you basically just put all the ingredients in and then it slowly cooks it throughout the day and like keeps it hot so then when you're ready to eat you can just open it up and scoop it out it is a wonderful invention for lazy lazy cookers but oh my god oh he's made a chicken curry with spinach and oh my god it smells so good so we did get a few like small bits from ikea for the kitchen like um for example one of these sticky like scrubby washing up brushes which i think was a pound they've got so much on there like i cannot stress enough if you've just moved house or if you're looking for affordable kitchen bits look on ikea they've got so much stuff we also got this little organizer thing for the draining boards because we don't have a dishwasher at the moment i want to get that sorted asap so at the moment i just got this draining rack on amazon and then this uh kind of organizer thing was from ikea again i think it was like one pound 75 two pounds something like that oh and then our chopping boards as well we just got two of these really basic chopping boards which i think were like one pound each or something ridiculous like that they were so cheap and then the plates that we ended up going for are just these basic plates from h and i can't remember if i've showed these in another vlog but um you had to buy them individually they didn't do sets and we currently don't have any like matching bowls because i think they were out of stock i promise you not everything in this house is going to be gray i don't want to have one of those houses where like everything is like gray on gray on gray and gray i do want to inject some color in there um so i'm hoping that i can get some bowls that are maybe like a nice contrasting color just to show you in this cupboard one of my best friends for my birthday got me these gorgeous stemless prosecco glasses oh my god i can't reach them these are so delicate i think she got them from oliver bonas they've got a gold bit around the top and then they're this gorgeous like iridescent color and they are so beautiful so i save those for when i have a cheeky glass of prosecco because we've had quite a few bottles since moving in just from like people saying congrats and i've just realized that i never finished the vlog today's thursday i think it's the week after is my camera zoomed in let's just ignore that i've got to sort that out in a minute but i'm ending the vlog now i actually spent my time building this drawer unit which is the mom chest of drawers from ikea i actually built 99% of it by myself okay not 99% but I built like the whole body of this myself and I built all of the drawers apart from James helped me with the last two when he got back from work but yeah I'm pretty proud of this although there's a few bits of t-shirt that are like sticking out of it and luckily it fits perfectly in this little gap I've got my little tv which I brought from home it's actually really spacious so I've got all of my like t-shirts pajamas and stuff in here I might try and get some handles to go on it to like make it look a bit nicer because it is pretty basic but yeah so i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i'm thinking of doing a vlog soon which is more of like a sit down video um where i answer your questions about moving because i know that a lot of people do have questions i was obviously a first time buyer i went into this not knowing a single thing about moving because nobody tells you in school and obviously like you can do research online and stuff but i feel like a lot of it is actually quite confusing um so i don't know would it be helpful if i did a video about like the whole moving process and things that nobody tells you <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna do that soon and i think a few videos back on this vlog channel like a couple of months ago i'm pretty sure that i asked you guys for questions so i'll read through some of those and also if you guys have got any questions leave them down below in the comments and i'll kind of collect them from both of those videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye